Here's the key question I want you to reflect on throughout your time here and as often as you can. What do you need to exponentially commit to? One of the best presentations I've ever heard. Man, these uh, presentations are phenomenal. It is really mind-blowing to see what he has done. That was an absolutely amazing keynote. So inspirational. We all feel very changed from the experience. It made you want to think about new ideas. It really resonated with me. Well, please help me welcome Manly Feinberg today. Every organization I work with is experiencing exhaustion. And they essentially all say the same thing. We need to be re-energized and inspired so our people will step up and recommit to the work. But to get that requires three things a crystal clear vision, an absolute commitment to maintain momentum, and a fully engaged team to execute. And there are very few things in this world that reflect that better than climbing a mountain. We set up our Porta Ledge camp so that we can live on the wall day four. Sun's already down, and we hear this grunt and groaning from Steve's ledge. Ugh, it hurts. He's writhing in pain, he's half convulsing, his skin's hanging off his body, he's ice cold, sweating, his eyes are starting to roll back in his head, and I'm freaking out. I said, we got a call for a rescue. We got a call for a rescue. And Dave says, Manly, I need you to take a deep breath. He said, I need to hear another one. He said, you need to hear what we're gonna say next, Manly. He's dying right now. In the next few minutes, he's gonna die in your arms or you're gonna save his life. I gotta tell you all, if you'd pause the story in that moment and ask me a few minutes before that, are you 100% all in committed to saving this man's life? I would've said, absolutely. But the truth is, I was 99% in. Because that 1% of me didn't wanna face the work, was afraid of losing him. I wasn't really fully committed, but what I realized is the difference between 99% commitment and 100% commitment is not 1%. It's exponential. When you are all in, you know that feeling in life when you say, I'm in, I'm here, I'm going to make this happen no matter what. It changes everything. Total commitment is something I will never think of the same way again. It's just an emotional experience, very inspirational, it's very empowering. People were in tears, it was really amazing. As I share my experiences from climbs around the world, I watch audience members realize how much they have let slip in their lives and their work. Exponential commitment is 100% certainty that the summit is possible, the work is worth it and that our greatest challenges are actually the moments that define our lives and drive the greatest growth. And remembering that reignites organizations like nothing I have ever seen. It's mind-blowing, it's inspiring. Very contagious, uh, very energetic. It was intensely powerful for me. It's all commitment, it's all in. That's what it's all about. So it was a really fantastic message. I said, listen, Steve, if you want to go down and you don't feel like it, we're totally cool. We've talked about self-rescue. He said, Go down. What? He said, you saved my freaking life last night. We're not going down. We're going to the summit. Now, we're exponentially committed as a team. When your entire team is exponentially committed, you can feel it, your clients can feel it, and everything rises to the top. When we celebrate the summits, it's contagious. I don't care what your role, responsibility, or title is. When you do that consistently, you will reach your next summit and you'll build momentum. So the question is, who will you put on the summit next?